Your password might soon be a thing of the past, but hey, that's a good thing. I'm Christelle Bell sharing why pass keys could lock out the hackers for good. We all use passwords. Unfortunately, it's the least secure way to authenticate yourself. But it may not be the best line of defense. This just is not sustainable. It's just going to continue to put people in harm's way. A few years ago, a new way of authentication started rolling out. You're likely using them without even realizing it. So let's talk about pass keys. If you use facial recognition to unlock your smartphone, that's considered a pass key because you're not typing in characters to gain access. So facial ID, a fingerprint, or even a pen, all considered pass keys. That's what makes this way more secure. Ken Colburn of Data Doctor says anytime a service or a website offers you the chance or suggest using a pass key. I absolutely recommend you do that immediately. And here's a better understanding of why. Instead of storing your login credentials on a website, website server, which can be hacked, the private and unique pass keys will stay secured on your device. So when you log in, your device actually verifies you. So it's both convenient and way more secure than a password. And hackers would literally have to steal your device, put your fingerprint, use your face, or pin to break in. Not very likely scenarios for hackers. So when creating pass keys, remember there's no one size fits all, but start with the most important account, your email. Typically what you'll do is you'll go into the settings of the particular network, whether it's Amazon, Google, and what it, just look in the password and the security section. Uh, somewhere in there, if their pass keys are available, there's usually a switch that you can turn on to activate it. Ogoburn says it's not the end of passwords, but as more businesses convert over, it could become a primary way to gain access to the Internet. We've put more information to help you learn about the everyday uses of pass keys. Find this story online at abc15.com slash consumer. I'm Christelle Bell. What's your consumer problem? Let ABC 15 know.